Hello everyone and welcome back to Sade Crochets. This is part two of the series where we're going to convert this bralette into a mini dress. So we'll be using the same hook, the same main hook that we used in part one, which is an e-hook, a 3.5 millimeter hook. So what we're going to do, we're just jump right in. We're going to turn our work so that we can work on the right side and we're going to reattach our yarn to this center seam. So I'm just going to double knot it. One and two and then we'll crochet over that tail as we go. So let's insert our hook into that same space, pull up a loop and chain one for height. And then we'll put one single crochet in this seam spot. And last time we did, um, last time we did two single crochets in one valley and then one single crochet in the next valley. In this one, we're gonna do two single crochets in every valley. So in this, in between these two ridges, we'll put two single crochets. So one and two. And then we'll put two in the next. One and two. And that's pretty much all we're doing for row one, is just putting two single crochets in every little valley here. And one note, you might want to actually count how many single crochets that we have in this row because we're going to have to know that for the next row, so might as well count now. So I will meet you at the end of the row. Alright, so once you make your way all the way around, then we're just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet of the row and so we needed to know how many stitches are in row one so hopefully you did count that if not go back and count because now we have to increase but everybody's gonna have a different amount of stitches so for example I have 194 stitches in this row so now we're gonna increase in this next row until we reach the number of stitches for our size so extra small will do 192 stitches, small will do 204, a medium will do 216, a large will do 240, 1x will do 264, 2x is 300, and 3x is 312 stitches. Let's go ahead and do some of the row together. So after you slip stitch, chain one, and then we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch across. So, so I started off with 194 stitches in my last row and I need to get to 216 stitches for my size. So I need to spread out 22 increases because uh, 216 minus 194 is 22. So just to increase you're going to put two single crochets in the same stitch and then you'll put one single crochet in every stitch across and then when you're ready for your next spread out um, increase you'll put two single crochets in the next stitch and you just want to kind of spread them out evenly so that you don't have like a bunching in one area so it's not that difficult you just got to go through and do some math do your division and figure it out, but go ahead and reach the number for your size and I'll meet you there. All right, so once you make your way all the way around, then we are going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet of the row. Okay, so now we're going to chain one and turn our work. And the only reason why I'm turning is just so that the pattern can go every other row like it does on the top. So chain one and turn. And then in the very same stitch as the slip stitch, we're going to put one single crochet. And this is the first row of a two row repeat. 
So this is row three. We're going to be repeating rows three and four. So single crochet in the first stitch and then skip two and five double crochets in the next. So one, two, three, four, five. And then after your five double crochets, skip two, single crochet, and skip two, five double crochets in the next stitch. So it's a similar pattern to what we were doing um, in the bralette part. One, two, three, four, five. And then skip two, single crochet, skip two, five double crochets in the next. So we're going to continue repeating this pattern until we reach the end of the row, and I will meet you there. And once you make your way all the way around, you should have um, you should have five double crochets and then two stitches left. And then we'll just slip stitch into that very first single crochet of the row. And that is the first row of the repeat. The second row we're going to chain two and turn our work. And this chain two doesn't count for anything. So chain two and turn. And then we're going to put three double crochets into this first single crochet. Oops. So one, two, and three. And then we'll skip two, single crochet in the next stitch, skip two, and five double crochets. So we're pretty much back on our regular shell pattern. One, two, three, four, five, and then skip two, single crochet, and skip two, five double crochets. So we'll be doing that all the way around until the end of the row. And when you get to the end of the row, you should have on your last shell, you'll skip two and do a single crochet. And then you'll skip two, and then we're going to put two double crochets into this single crochet. So one and two. And then we'll slip stitch into the first double crochet of the row, which is one, two, one, two, three here. So we'll slip stitch into that very first double crochet of the of the round. And those are the two rows that we're going to be repeating. So now we're going to chain one and turn our work. So we'll repeat row one or row three again. So chain one and turn and then you'll single crochet in the first stitch and then skip two and put five double crochets into that next single crochet there. So one, two, three, four, five, skip two, single crochet skip to five double crochets so go ahead and repeat that all the way around and i will meet you there and when you get to the end of the row you should have two stitches left and then we will single you have your five double crochets two stitches left and then we'll slip stitch into that first single crochet of the row and from here we'll chain two. So this is the second row of the repeat again. Chain two and turn your work. 
And we're going to start off by putting three double crochets into the first stitch. One, two, and three. And then we'll skip two, single crochet in the next stitch, and skip two, five double crochets. and skip two single crochet and skip two five double crochets so we will do this same pattern until the end of the row and when you get to the end of this round you should have uh, a single crochet on top of this shell from the previous row and then two stitches left so we'll skip two and we will put two double crochets into that very first single crochet of the round. So one and two. And then we will slip stitch into the very first double crochet of the round. So two double crochets and then slip stitch into that very first double crochet of the round. And we're just going to repeat rows three and four until until row 10 is complete and this is what it looks like now so now we're going to change our stitch pattern slightly so now we're going to begin an increasing pattern so what we're going to do now is single crochet into the first stitch skip two and put our shell, our five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. Skip two, and then in this next stitch, we're gonna put a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet into the same stitch. Skip two and five double crochets. Skip two and a single crochet. Skip two, five double crochets. Skip two, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So we're doing every other, um, every other peak here will be either a regular single crochet like we've normally been doing or the little increasing, the beginning of our increase, which is a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So from here, we're going to skip two and put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two, single crochet. Skip two, five double crochets. One, two, three. four five and skip two single crochet chain one single crochet so that is the pattern for this row for row 11 so go ahead and repeat that all the way around all right and so when you make your way around your second to last peak on top of the shell below should be a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. And then we'll finish the row with our five double crochets. Skip two, five double crochets. And we'll skip two and then we will slip stitch into that very first single crochet of the row. 
and that was row 11. So now we're going to start a six row repeat starting with row 12. So this will be the first row of the repeat. So we're going to chain two and turn our work. Okay. So in this first stitch, we will put three double crochets into the single crochet below. So one, two, and three. From here, we're going to skip two, single crochet, and skip two, and five double crochets. So now we're actually at this uh, spot where we had two single crochets, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So when you get to this spot, you'll put five double crochets into the first single crochet. Two, three, four, and five. So that's the first part of our increase and then we will single crochet into that chain one space in between the two single crochets below. So single crochet in there. And then in this next single crochet we're also going to put another five double crochets in that same stitch. So one, two, three, four and five and so that's how we're going to do our increases we're going to work every time we get to the single crochet chain one single crochet we're going to work this row like this above that all right so next we're going to skip two and single crochet and then we'll skip two and this is just one single crochet here so we'll just put five double crochets in that single crochet like we normally do. Three, four, and five. And then we'll skip two, single crochet, and skip two, and now we have our two double or two single crochets. So we'll skip two and put five double crochets into the first single crochet three four and five and then we will put a single crochet in between the two single crochets below in that chain one space and then in the next single crochet we'll put another five double crochets one, two, three, four, and five. So that is what we are repeating across. We're going to have one section where it's just a regular five double crochets, and then in the and then we'll skip two and single crochet in the next and then skip two and then you'll have that single crochet chain one single crochet where we work the five double crochets on top single crochet and then another five so we'll skip two single crochet in the next stitch skip two five double crochets skip two single crochet skip two five double crochets in the next stitch and then we will single crochet in between those two single crochets into that chain one space and then we'll put five more double crochets in the next single crochet so 
So you will continue this way until the end of the row. And when you make your way all the way around, your last set of shells should be the double shell thingy. So then we will skip two, single crochet, and skip two. And in this uh, very first stitch of the row, we'll put two double crochets. And then we will slip stitch into the very first double crochet of the round. And that is row 12. So for row 13, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And row 13 is an easier, easy row. So for row 13, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch, skip two, and five double crochets in the single crochet. Skip two, single crochet, and skip two, five double crochets in this middle single crochet here. Skip two, single crochet, skip two, five double crochets. Skip two, single crochet, skip two, five double crochets. Skip two, single crochet, skip two, five double crochets. And this is pretty much all we're doing for this row. Just skip two single crochets, skip two five double crochets. And um, there's no nothing special about the double shells. We're just going right in there like we would any other little valley there and putting five double crochets there. So go ahead and repeat that all the way. All right, so when you make your way all the way around for row 13, we'll just skip two and then single crochet into, or slip stitch into that first single crochet of the round. So now we're on row 14, so we'll chain two and turn our work. And row 14 is similar to row 11. It's just the beginning is different. I think row, row 11, we started with a single crochet. Row 14, we're going to start with a chain two and three double crochets. So we'll put three double crochets into this first stitch. Two and three. And also for row 14, you're going to have to pay attention to where you have these uh, two, this like double shell here below, um, because that's where we're going to continuously put our increases on top of the shell that's on top of the two double crochet, the two double crochet shells in a row. So we're always going to keep our increase in the same spot. And if you need to... You should be able to see them. I know white might be a little bit harder to see, but uh, if you need to, you can use stitch markers to keep this in line with itself, keep the in increase in line with itself. That's just going to give us that really nice ruffle. Um, but okay, so we chained two and put three double crochets in the first stitch, and then we'll skip two and single crochet. And then we'll skip two and put a shell in the next stitch. Five double crochets. Two. 
three, four, and five. And now we are at our first shell that is above the increase. So when we get there, we'll skip two and then we'll do our single crochet, chain one, single crochet. And then we'll skip two and put five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. And the difference, another difference between row 14 and row 11 is that row 11 we were doing the single crochet and then the single crochet chain one single crochet every other time as you progress you'll have more space between before you get to the next increase so we did our five single crochets and then we'll skip two and put a single crochet and skip to another shell or five double crochets in the same stitch two three four and five and our next increase isn't until another uh, another shell away so we'll skip two and put another regular single crochet in the, on top of the next shell skip two shell skip two and now we are on top of our increasing column here so we'll skip two and we'll do a single crochet chain one and single crochet in the same stitch skip two five doubles skip two single crochet skip two five doubles skip two single crochet skip two five double crochet And skip two and now we are on top of our next increasing spot so we're gonna skip two and put another single crochet chain one single crochet so we're gonna continue this pattern just putting the little pre increase here with the single crochet chain one single crochet we're only gonna put those on our increasing spots and uh, we'll make our way all the way around and I'll meet you there all right so when you make your way around your last uh, peak should be a single crochet and not the single crochet chain one single crochet and then from there we'll skip two and then we will put two double crochets in that very first stitch of the round And finally we'll slip stitch into that first double crochet and that is row 14 so from here what we're gonna do is chain one whoops chain one and turn our work and for row 15 we're going to single crochet in that first stitch and then we will skip two and put five double crochets in the next stitch skip two single crochet 
and skip two. So now we are back at our single crochet, chain one single crochet. So those are the places where we're going to do our increase. So we'll skip two and put five double crochets into that first single crochet. And then we will single crochet in that chain one space between the two single crochets below. And then we'll put another five double crochets in the next single crochet. And then we'll skip two single crochet, skip two five double crochets, skip two single crochet, skip two five doubles. skip two single crochet skip two and now we're back at the increasing spot so we will put five double crochets And then we'll put a single crochet in that chain one space below. And put five more double crochets into the next single crochet. And you can see that every time we do this, we'll be having more space in between our increasing spots. So go ahead and continue this pattern and I will meet you at the end of the round. And when you make your way all the way around, you should have in your last valley just five double crochets. Two three, four, five, and then we'll skip two and slip stitch into that very first single crochet of the row. And that was a row 15. So for row 16, we're going to chain two and turn our work. And this row is the easy row. So we're going to put three double crochets into that first stitch skip two single crochet skip two five double crochets And when we get to the top of this double shell, we're still going to skip two single crochet and skip two and five double crochets. So we're pretty much just repeating that all the way around is skip two single crochet, skip two, five double crochets. And that is all that we are doing for this row. So go ahead and make your way all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Okay, so once you make your way all the way around for row 16, you should have a single crochet and two stitches left. We're going to put two double crochets into that very first 
double crochet that we worked into already. So one and two. And then we will slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round. And that is row 16. For row 17, we are going to chain one, chain one and turn our work. And we will put one single crochet into the very first double crochet here, the middle double crochet. And then we'll skip two and put our five double crochets in that single crochet. And then we'll skip two and single crochet in that next stitch and skip two and five double crochets in the next. And so we will repeat that until we reach the spot where our increases go. So one, two, three, four, and five. So we're just gonna repeat single crochet, skip two, five double crochets in the same stitch, skip two, and repeat that until we reach our increasing spot, which is the next shell here. So once you reach your increasing spot, we're gonna skip two, and on top of that next stitch, we'll put our single crochet, chain one, and single crochet in the same stitch. And so that's how we're kind of repeating row 17. So we're going to skip two and then put five double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip two, single crochet, and repeat that until we reach our next um, increasing spot which over time will become easier to see as your ruffles get bigger. You'll be able to see your increasing spot a lot easier um, once you get to it. Two, three, four, five. Skip two, single crochet. Skip two, five doubles. Skip two, single crochet, skip two, five doubles, one, two, three, four, five, skip two, and now we're back at our increased spot here. So once you reach your increasing spot, you'll skip two and put a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. So that is how we are doing row 17. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around and I'll meet you there. All right, so once you make your way all the way around, you should have a shell, five double crochets in one stitch and then two stitches left. And then we'll just slip stitch into that very first single crochet. All right, and so we're just gonna keep repeating rows 12 through 17. So I am not sure how long I'm gonna repeat those, and I will jump into the future and let you know once I finish how many rows I did. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna repeat rows 12 through 17 until we reach our desired length, and I will see you. Alright, so you're going to repeat this pattern until you reach 
row 40. I found that row 40 was long enough for me. You could also go to, an, you know, you can go for longer, make it as long as you like, but just know that the this dress has a lot of ruffles in it because of all the increases. So, I mean, it was getting to the point where every row was going to take me, you know, 30, 40 minutes and it just was just kept on going so I just stopped as soon as it covered my butt honestly so that was row 40 for me I do believe it's a beautiful dress it's just a lot of yarn I'm not even quite sure how much yarn I used because I was I mean I probably started this six months ago I honestly I don't even know how long this took me because I kept starting stopping and so I'm not going to sell this pattern. I'm just going to put it up on my blog for free because I don't feel like going through the yardage um, and a couple other things about it. Um, so yeah, it'll be up on my blog for free. And I do love, it came out so beautiful. It's just a really big project. It doesn't look like it's that as big as it was. So I'm just throwing that out there that this is a big project. Um, this is like a medium slash large ish size. So I think I used about used 2,700 yards. I'm not quite sure. And that's why I'm not going to sell the pattern because I don't even know how, <laughs> how much yards I used. Um, but just know it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. So that's an idea of what it would be. Um, this is a medium slash large and I used maybe 2,700 yards. Um, so it is a pretty big project, but it is beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If anything, the good thing about this tutorial is just learning how to do a center increase with, uh, with the shell stitch. So that's a bonus on that. <laughs> but other than that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.